investigating the problem, getting results. This is Wave 3 News at 5. Well, that cold that just won't go away, maybe it isn't a cold. That's right. Up next in Health Alert, why allergy problems can strike at any age and when you should see a doctor to get the problem under control. Despite what many people believe, allergies and asthma can strike long after childhood, even in your 30s, 40s, and beyond. In Health Alert today, if you deal with a cold every year that's lasting weeks, even months, it's time to see an allergist. And in no time, you'll likely be feeling better than you felt in years. Summertime and the great outdoors. You know, it's supposed to be a perfect time to be outside. Blue skies, green grass, trees and flowers in full bloom. I suffered all day long. You know, I just couldn't breathe, watery eyes, you know, congestion, you know, low headache pain. And, but it was just a continual. For two years. Deep, deep breath for me. 42-year-old Jim Nart ignored the symptoms, something not uncommon. We see that all the time. Uh, uh, people in denial is people in their... 30s and 40s and 50s and at family allergy and asthma dr james sublet says in general allergies are inherited but environment and viruses may be triggers too explaining why for some no problems as a child well, maybe 20 30 percent that have, they just have the clear blue, they start having problems. Not recognizing what the problem is. And there are some people that still come in, they say, oh, I have a cold every spring that lasts for three months. And then we say, well, you know, colds don't last for three months, you've got allergy problems. Asthma can be a late bloomer too. Symptoms once controllable that later require prescription medications. We know that especially with asthma, the, the earlier the intervention, the better. In We're fact, actually... disregarding asthma symptoms like wheezing, coughing, shortness of breath, tightness in the chest, it can be deadly. It's not quite so scary for allergy sufferers, but still, a constant runny nose, nasal congestion, itchy, watery eyes, scratchy throat. Treatment can certainly make life life more livable or just knowing what to avoid. When you see on the news that it's going to be a high mold day or stuff like that and it affects you, that's what that, those were the warning signs I should have taken. A dust mask for doing yard or housework, appropriate air filters for your home. My advice right now is to keep doing what we're doing. That you may... For Jim, it's just one pill and one nasal spray a day. All 100% better. I mean, I have better energy during the day. I don't feel, you know, I don't hit the wall about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon now. I'm just, you know, I can walk outside and not have to constantly look for air conditioning. It's a total, total transformation from where you were before. And a few more simple solutions, goggles or sunglasses, and putting your car's air conditioner on recirculate to keep molds and pollens out. Dr. Sublet says for some allergy patients, avoidance may be all that's necessary, but you need to get that allergy skin test to know for certain what it is that you need to be avoiding. Especially in this fabulous Ohio Valley. I know. Knowledge is everything. Well, next on Wave 3 News at 5.